Well, hello, and it has been a while, hasn't it? A bit of a hiatus, all sorts of stuff going on, but I'm here today to talk about the pop vibe. It's uh, Geek Vape's brand new disposable, not a disposable pod system. Uh, yeah, super, super interesting. Look at that. It's a battery coil uh, and your tank. Really, really interesting little device. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll show you it's in the box and everything about it as well as like a rundown of the stats of the device. But I like it. It's a step forward away from single use, proper single use disposables. You know, like once it's done, it's done with this. You can replace the battery, replace the coil, everything. So let's get straight into it and then I'll show you everything that you get in the box and just a breakdown of how it works. All right, here you go. Uh, there is two of the pop vibes that Geek Vape supplied. Uh, I'll get them opened up. Comes like any sort of, as you would expect, um, style of uh, disposable, but well, this isn't really a disposable. This is more of like a, a fancy pod system. Uh, so it comes like this, uh, sort of disassembled uh, with a sort of instructions on how to use it there. I'll let you see that real quick. Like that. This is your coil and this is your bottle. Uh, it's a watermelon ice, 20 milligram, and then that's your battery. Uh, so what you do is obviously you just pull out, let me zoom it out a little bit. What you do is you just pull your rubber piece out, rubber piece on the top, take your bottle, and then just take it off. What you want to do, I've made this mistake, do not slide that on, you'll struggle to get it off. So you assemble it like that, and then that's your sort of, your disposable part, your, essentially this is the part that you would be replacing uh i suspect that the coil will probably last longer than the juice so i would assume you can buy the juice itself and then these separately but all you need to do is just line it up slide it up and then that's it just to show you when you would uh, essentially get your refills your <laughs> your disposable you know would never always match up. Uh, so in theory, yes, um, these are not really disposables. These are pod systems that are more or less the next generation of pods. In that sense, the Mr. Blue one here, which is essentially like a blue slush from my understanding. I'm not familiar with every single, you know, the disposable style of juice, but as you can see, similar setup, you just pull. Take that off. Bottle cap. Push that on. Take the battery. And then that's it. So, yeah, that's pretty much how they work. Uh, very similar to, you obviously know them, uh, which is the Elf Bar. AF5000, almost identical in the sort of, you know, the shape and design, apart from this is rechargeable, replaceable, you know, you just slide it off. There's your battery compartment, you slide it on, and you can hear it click. So yeah, it's like this, but it's actually fixed the problem with these style of disposables that have been kicking about where Geek Vape have went, well, let's make it like a proper pod, you know, you can actually reuse it. Uh, and I don't know the full release just yet of how this is going to be distributed, but I could only assume that bottles will be separate, coils will be separate. And then when you buy your unit the first time, that's what it'll come like with your kit. So coil, bottle, battery, uh, interesting bit of kit though. Uh, and we'll break down some of the stats about it. It's a 10 mil bottle of juice in like a two mil compartment majigger. Uh, normally what you're used to, 
Uh, these come 20 milligram. The coil that it comes with is a mesh 1.10 ohm coil. You know, it's not the 80, uh, 0 0.8 magic number. And the battery is a 650 milliamp battery. And they're pretty much the similar sense of hold them upside down. And they're, they're, they're good to go after that. Um, I just like the fact that, you know, I can say, pop that on there. Looks a bit silly, but you know, then that's it. So you do have a display on the side there. You can see it there. It says the percentage and it's got a little indicator there. You've got your USB type C airflow on the pod is actually at the back here, uh, which is very odd. And it would be my only gripe with the device is airflow I'll, with this one. The airflow is on the back there and it needs a slider just to be able to control the airflow just a little bit would be great. And the, na the natural hold of the device, you hold it like this and you might block off the uh, airflow. Whereas your elf bar one airflow is actually on the side and you would think airflow would be there, but it's an odd choice. Yeah, there was a look at the essentially geek vape pop vibe. <laughs> but it's a, it's a it's a mouthful. Geek vape pop vibe V5000. Um a pod system uh that essentially has sort of fixed the whole disposable non-recyclable, you know, this is your battery, this is plastics, similar to your pre-filled pods apart from the fact obviously um your whole instead of you're just chucking away one coil like this so when you're needing a replacement uh, you need to replace the bottle and you need to replace the coil as well but i suspect the coil will last a lot longer than the actual bottle of juice i did test this theory with a bottle from geek vape which was uh, essentially this one here which was the juicelet uh once this ran out uh just as a testing sort of thing uh i took this apart uh, like that and just took it off took the coil off and then took this little rubber piece off and then refilled it with uh, juice like juice from geek vape and still exactly the same performance so i suspect that the coils uh, are pretty good and probably will get through maybe 20 mil of e-liquid they pumped through the 10 mil that was in the bottle superb no issues whatsoever uh, so i would assume that you know, if you're wanting to be that guy, you can just refill them um, with disposable juice. Uh, you know, you can use Geek Vapes 1, the juice slit, or you can use other brands. Uh, but for ease of use, so people can, you can just get refills for these. So yeah, that was a look at uh, Geek Vapes Pop Vibe. I like it. I'm glad that they've sort of fixed the issue. Uh, whether this will catch on or not, that's another story because the elf bar one has uh, sort of became very 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 popular uh and i suspect these will as well because of probably pricing will be the big thing here they'll be far cheaper to run no prices or anything just yet but performance on them has been very good i mean it's pretty good it definitely works like it's just straightforward it's simple disposable like obviously your elf bar af 5000 uh very straightforward big fan and i'm happy that geek vape have finally decided let's do a disposable that's not a disposable but it is a disposable F flavor is fantastic F not too sure about that mr blue flavor though mm. maybe not so much that Although I've never known what Mr. Blue is. So if anybody in the comments will let me know what that is, that'd be great. Not a fan. Watermelon ice, perfectly fine. Then obviously your ra strawberry raspberry ice, which isn't strawberry raspberry ice anymore. It's now blueberry sour uh, from Juicelet, which is Geek Vapes Juice, uh, which I'll give you a rundown later on. Look out for that video later on this week. Uh, so I've got a couple of videos coming. Uh, so obviously with a hiatus, you're going to see the L300. Where the fuck is the L300? That's here. You're going to see the L300, uh, the brand new kit. Uh, and yes, it is different. 
I know it looks the same, but it is different, believe me. As well as uh, the sort of an update to Hell Vape stuff as well. So look forward to those videos. I will be back doing them uh, as well as keep an eye out for the sand. That will be on the day I get it. I'll get you a preview done, show you everything in it. But expect it to be very similar to the San AIO. And I will compare them too. And if I need to do a breakdown on the chipset, I will, which I probably have to because it's a brand new chipset. So I'll maybe show you how to do themes and stuff. But that is essentially the disposable there. Works perfectly fine. Uh, and yeah, that was Geek Vapes pop vibe geek vapes pop vibe v5000 pod system uh can't it's not really a disposable anymore because it has a battery that you can re replace and you can obviously replace the coil and the juice and you can buy the juice all that sorts of things i have no i've got no date for when these are due to land apart from the fact that probably relatively soon is what i would assume so do look out for it it should be all soon very very soon and uh yeah uh that was geek vapes pop vibe i like it i like it good 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 hopefully they'll all go down this route and then they can sort of essentially work out right let's do a pod i know the geek vape geek vape themselves have done a pod and elf have done a pod so you can see that they're starting to move away from these disposables, which is good. Uh, so look out for these coming out soon. Don't know when, uh, but thanks for watching the video. And obviously uh, this video was for essentially showing you the product, previewing the product um, for educational purposes. Make sure you don't mess anything up. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the video and I will see you, I would assume Tuesday.